Welcome to the factory of programming. Prepare your mind for exclusive tech experience. Listening to Vivo Bon right now. Hello everybody. Today I will explain, uh, I will give a feedback about uh, my Spring Certified Professional 2003 certification uh, test taking. And I will do so by following this point. Uh, the preparation, the exam, and what's next. So let's begin with the preparation. So um, uh, to prepare this uh, exam certification, the Spring Certified, uh, um, certified Professional uh, uh, exam, I um, went to the Spring Academy course because um, to, 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 get, uh, to, to, pass, to get the certification, you have to, to do a training, a training course from Spring. And the cheapest uh, training course and the more convenient for people who are working every day is to do the, um, the, um, the online digital uh, training course from Spring Academy. I will show you uh, how it looks like. So um, this is it. Uh, so you go on Spring Academy, you subscribe to it, you pay $300 without uh, taxes. And uh, inside it, you have also a voucher to pass the certification. So for only $300, you can uh, have a training course and uh, pass the certification one time. So um, uh, there is two interesting courses in this, um, in this uh, academy, the Spring Framework Essentials and the Spring Boot course. They look similarly, similar in the, in the way of displaying things. And um, you have uh, several modules and in each module, you have video, you see it, video of uh, some uh, minutes, uh, 12 minutes, three minutes, three minutes. And in each um, uh, part, uh, in each module, you have also a lab to practice. So you have a theory and practice. So it is a good preparation. And also uh, th there is explanation for everything uh, in, the, um, in the Spring Academy. Okay, so that, that's why that's why the, for the Spring Academy. Uh, then I use a practice test, for example, for, from Udemy and, um, and also from other source on the web. And uh, I did my own uh, practice test to, to, to master the, the kind of questions they, they could ask. And um, I have my own course, uh, which is um, very relevant uh, uh, when I see the real content. And this is this one, Spring Professional Certification Six Full Test. Uh, for the two V zero seventy two dot twenty two uh, exam, and uh, in it uh, for for the moment you have three hundred forty one questions, but I will complete it with uh, what I uh, see in the real exam. So I have uh, in memory some uh, uh, remainings of questions, and I will uh, uh, prepare some additional questions to complete the three hundred sixty question uh, to have um, a full. Um, a full uh, six full test for for this Udemy course, and uh, the strategy with this uh, kind of uh, practice test is to 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 spot your weakness. For example, you do one test, and at the end of the test, there is a result, and it says, for example, uh, in spring testing, you are you have uh, only zero question. You have zero question on the free. On uh, spring data management, you have one question of, on six. So you know. Uh, which part you have to review to be better. So uh, when uh, you work on a topic, you go on the Spring Academy review, rewatch the, the video, and you consult also the Spring documentation. I get back uh, to my uh, snip to my text uh, block, and here you have um, I, I have put Spring documentation. The Spring documentation is a very precious, uh, um, valuable uh, source of information. Uh, when uh, you have tricky question, uh, sometimes um, you you want to to get sensitive uh, difference between uh, some answer options, and the Spring documentation will give you the intel to to be um, uh, very clear in your understanding of the question. So the strategy is do the Spring Academy course, then uh, the Udemy practice uh, test. You uh, spot your weaknesses. And when you have uh, uh, weaknesses, you go uh, check in the video of the Spring Academy. And if it's a very tough uh, um, weakness, you go on the Spring documentation. Okay, so that's what's for the preparation. 
no for the exam. So I did the exam from home. I did a home test taking. And uh, there is a very, a very good video of uh, somebody on YouTube who explained all the steps uh, to do the online proctor uh, exam. So uh, this is uh, this man, Mark Anthony V. Melendres. I hope I didn't hurt his, uh, his name. And then he explained the tips and tricks uh, and uh, took uh, some screenshot about how to, um, to pass the exam. So first uh, you have uh, the page on your Pearson uh, dashboard. You click on begin exam. Then uh, it gives you a code. You, you get the code. You download the application of, um, of Pearson. Then uh, we will do a system check to check if uh, your mic, your micro, your webcam and uh, your internet connection is good. Then you will have to take your picture, take the picture of your photo identification, then take your picture of your workspace because they have to check uh, how uh, the exam is taking place. So you will have to take a, a picture from the front of your desk, from the back, from the side and the other side. So um, all this uh, uh, photo will be put uh, uh, from your smartphone because uh, they will send you a QR code or a link and you will have to scan the QR code and then uh, you will have the application of Pearson on your smartphone and uh, from the smartphone you will do all this photo. And in the end, when it, it will be complete, your desktop from which you start the um, uh, exam uh, uh, checking process uh, will be updated and you will be uh, able to continue to the test taking. So here it is uh, the screenshot. Uh, okay, the photo. It looks like this. You can go to this uh, website, to this uh, video. It's, um, it takes uh, 30 minutes to, to watch and, um, and it's, it's very well explained. So. Uh, uh, okay, uh, then uh, this was for the home test taking. During the exam, you can mark question uh, to review at the end. For each question, uh, there is 60 questions. If there is a tricky question, there is a checkbox at the uh, bottom of the page, I think, and you can uh, check it. Or it is uh, maybe in the top uh, uh, right corner. And um, at the end, this uh, question will be in a dashboard uh, which uh, you will be able to get back to it uh, by clicking on it. So um, uh, this is a good feature. Uh, then you can uh, cross the wrong answer option. This is good to filter uh, on the, to, to, to get only the good answer. For example, you, you go on one question and you see four, uh, ans uh, option, um, four answer options. And you, you, you know that one of it is, is, is wrong and uh, it can't be a good uh, answer. So you can double click on your mouse and this will um, cross the, the, the answer option. So no need uh, to read it. And uh, when you get back to all the, uh, the question, you will uh, be able to be focused only on the real good content. Uh, obviously, you can go back and forth uh, and review all the question. There is a previews and the next button on each page. So you can go from one uh, question one to two, then to three, then to four. And you can do this from one to 60. And at the end, there is also the review all dashboard, which can uh, allow you to get back to all the questions. So uh, don't be afraid to not be able to change uh, your mind about uh, one trick question. Uh, about the scoring, the scoring is a bit um, different than uh, Oracle certification, I think, because uh, um, uh, there is some question with a free um, possible answer. And I think there is one point or a system like that, a ponderation uh, system to, to, to value um, more tricky question. So it doesn't, uh, having um, uh, 10 um, question first uh, doesn't mean uh, there is no point uh, on it. For example, you can be partially uh, good on one question. And I think it works like this because uh, in the end, uh, I was not sure about a lot of questions and I did a good score. I did uh, uh, 413 on uh, 15, 500. Uh, I will show you my score. Uh, let's get back to it. Up, uh, my score, where it is. Uh, wait a minute. I will open the score. Okay, so here is uh, my um, my uh, uh, score report. You have the candidate, the candidate ID, the registration, the series, the date, the passing score, and my score, 413, and it says uh, pass. Okay. 
And then let's get back to the, um, this is uh, with the first email. So after the exam, you go to the first email with your score report. This is uh, what uh, I just uh, show you, uh, this one. So this is your score report with your score. And then in the second email, you got the credit digital badge, um, which uh, comes in an email a day after the certification. For example, uh, I got my badge and this is the badge I uh, obtained uh, the 29th December uh, when I took the exam the 28th December. And in my uh, box mail, in my mailbox, I got uh, the first email for the score report, okay? And then the link to the digital uh, credly badge. Uh, okay, so I did uh, all the part of the um, of the text block. So what's next? I think I will prepare the um, the um, the OCP Java seventeen uh, maybe uh, to to be aware of the last feature like text block, uh, um, the new switch uh, and uh, and other uh, nice feature of Java 17. Okay, so uh, thank you and uh, maybe see you in another video, bye.